Israeli government on Monday failed to pass a bill extending legal protections for settlers in the occupied West Bank, marking a major setback for the fragile coalition that could hasten its demise and send the country to new elections. The failure to renew the bill also highlighted the separate legal systems in the West Bank, where nearly 500,000 Jewish settlers enjoy the benefits of Israeli citizenships, while some 3 million Palestinians live under military rule that is now well into its sixth decade. Three major human rights groups have said the situation amounts to apartheid, an allegation Israel rejects as an assault on its legitimacy. Prime Minister Naftali Bennett's coalition remains in power, but Monday's vote underscored the weaknesses and divisions in the fragile alliance and raised questions about how long it can survive. Emergency regulations in place for decades have created a separate legal system for Jewish settlers in the West Bank, applying parts of Israeli law to them even though they live in occupied territory and not within sovereign Israeli land. Iraqi Foreign Minister Fuad Hussein met his Jordanian and Egyptian counterparts for a meeting in Baghdad on Monday for talks which covered food security, stability and peace in the region. At a joint news conference which followed the meeting, Hussein said that the war in Ukraine was also discussed with Ayman Safadi and Sameh Shukri. He said that the continuation of war is not only affecting the global economic situation and the economic situation in the region, but it also affects the political situation. Speaking about the three countries working together, Ayman Safadi, Jordanian foreign minister, said that cooperation was a necessity that would help the, na the nations deal with the regional challenges which were being exacerbated by the conflict in Ukraine. Meanwhile, Sameh Shukri, Egyptian foreign minister, said that the three nations were all fully convinced that they would be able to overcome ongoing challenges in their region.